All right, so what we have here is basically a reference sheet, a one-page reference sheet to help us remember and recall all those debit and credit rules, the uh, financial statements, how the financial statements are interrelated and so forth. What we're going to want to do is print this thing out, uh, keep it in front of you. Um, it'll really help as you're doing all the uh, accounting textbook problems, answering questions in class and so on. So let's start at the top here. We can see we have the basic accounting equation where assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. We we'll move down into the expanded equation where we have assets equal liabilities. In this case here, we've got a corporation, so owner's equity is broken down into capital stock and retained earnings. So we have assets equal liabilities plus capital stock plus retained earnings. Down below those, we have a couple of uh, diagrams that help us uh, remember the various accounts that go underneath each of these elements of the accounting equation. So for example, we've got the asset T accounts listed here to help us remember the type of accounts that uh, would be considered assets, such as cash, supplies, inventory. We got a liability T accounts or general ledger accounts such as accounts payable, notes payable, bonds payable. So a nice little uh, reference to help us uh, remember the accounts that belong to the elements of the accounting equation. We've done the same thing over here for our expense uh, accounts. So going back to uh, owner's equity, uh, another little reference here to help us remember what events change owner's equity or increase or decrease owner's equity. And there are four primary events that will change owner's equity. Of course, we could have treasury stock, which is a, basically a company reacquiring its own stock, uh, which would uh, change owner's equity. But there are primarily just four events that we need to be concerned with that change owner's equity. And those are listed here. For example, we issue stock or we earn revenue. Those will increase owner's equity. If we incur expenses or we pay dividends, those will decrease owner's equity. And that's kind of shown out here with the expanded equation where we have plus revenues, minus expenses, minus dividends. And we know those affect the retained earnings account, which of course affects owner's equity. All right, let's see how the financial statements play in this accounting equation. First, we have the income statement, which will basically show us profitability over a period of time over an accounting period. We start out with revenue, our revenue account, minus expenses, right? equals net income. The easiest way to remember this income statement is just remember R minus E equals NI. No matter how big this income statement gets and how we categorize these expenses and list all the expenses on the income statement, it just comes down to R minus E equals NI. It'll help us remember that. All right, so we're going to use this NI or net income to help us build the retained earnings statement, which Retained earnings statement simply just shows us the changes in retained earnings over an accounting period. So we start out with beginning retained earnings, add that net income from the income statement, less any dividends that we paid out, will equal our ending retained earnings. And this ending retained earnings will help us build our final financial statement, the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is simply going to be a listing of our assets or these T accounts that we explained below resources owned by a company and a listing of our liabilities these t accounts we explain down here uh, basically these liabilities will help us document the uh, creditor claims on these assets and then finally our owner's equity a listing of those accounts to help document owner's claims on those assets all right, so fine, let's take a look at these uh, debit and credits, or these DRs on each side of these accounts for this accounting equation. You see a DR listed on the left side of each one of these T accounts, and that's all that means. The debit is an entry on the left side of a T account, credit on the right side of a T account, and we can see that throughout the equation here. Just remember, debit's on the left, credit's on the right. This, this diagram will help us show that. Finally, we have uh, some pluses and minuses here to help us remember uh, how accounts change in terms of debits and, and credits, how they're increased or decreased. For example, we have assets and we're showing to increase an asset account, we're going to need to debit it. To decrease the asset account, we'll need to credit it. Just the opposite is true for liabilities. We want to increase a liability account, we need to credit it. We want to decrease it, we need to debit it is true for revenue. We want to increase a revenue account, we're going to credit it. 
So for example, if we happen to uh, perform some some work, uh, some service, uh, and we received assets for that service, and down here in our definition, that's called revenue. So if we want to, now we know we need to increase our revenue account. When we look at this and say, I need to increase my revenue account, what do I need to do? I need to credit it. Well, I received assets for that revenue. What do I need to do to increase those assets? I need to debit it. So this will help us just remember those debit and credit rules. Finally, got a few definition and notes down here to help uh, explain uh, various parts of the equation, various parts of the uh, financial statements. So take this, print it out, uh, keep it in front of you as you're doing your accounting problems. Um, great way to learn accounting and great way to teach the accounting equation. Hope this helps.